accent reduction and voice articulation introduction. Why is it important to speak effectively? Now, it's important to speak English effectively and correctly so that you can be heard and understood the first time. When you speak to someone, it's one of the most frustrating things when you have to keep repeating yourself over and over and over and over again until you're not even understood. I find that you need English in business, education, even on social media platforms like Facebook or Twitter. There are lots of things happening, often in English language. Like, did you know that English is the third most widely spoken language in the world? And it's increasing. It's already the official language of over 94 countries and people in every area of the world are speaking English even as a second foreign language. Many people have like, you know, a dream of working overseas, studying in a foreign country, or just being able to have friends on Facebook and Instagram who might be American or British. But even to have Facebook or Instagram friends who speak English means that you need to speak it very well. Because sometimes there's jokes or songs that happen. And if you don't really have a strong grasp of English or your pronunciation or your understanding of it isn't that great, then you know English is actually often a requirement to get into a job in the top Forbes 100 companies or buy a coffee in London even go to university in some countries and all these things require you to be able to speak English whether it's American English or British English but please note and note this part very well there is a difference between English and American please note this very well there is a difference between American and British English and we're going to look at this later on now let's move on to fluency now fluency Fluency is the ability to speak and be able to be understood without having to stop and start trying to think about what what word to say or how you're going to say it the next time. There are so many reasons why you need to speak English effectively and fluently. Like fluency means basically you know all the grammar, the vocab, the tense, etc. Blah blah blah. But let me stop you right there. You need more than that for fluency, don't you? I'm glad you asked, as you and I both know that you need to be able to speak easily and reasonably quickly to keep up the pace of a conversation. If you happen to stop, pause, think a lot, they're not really fluent and it takes years of training with a lot of corrections of your errors as well as to sound natural as possible. Now, good speakers of English can communicate very well. So, for example, look at Obama, Nelson Mandela, Tony Blair, Theresa May, the list just goes on and on and on. And other effective speakers have grasped the language very well and speak it very, very smoothly. Let me share some tips to help you speak effectively, to communicate ideas as naturally as possible. You've got to keep it simple. Do not use technical language which you do not understand. And when you're a bit more comfortable with English, then use every opportunity to show off your vocab. And do not worry about mistakes when you speak. Always allow someone else to listen to you and correct what the errors are. I just encourage you to keep practicing and using expressions to fill the gap rather than making the same mistakes over and over and over again. When you become a good communicator of English and have an effective English speaking skill, there are so many advantages. You can increase your potential income. If you speak English effectively, it increases your level of income because no longer do you have to just look for jobs in one language. You can also um, have English as a second foreign language and English is key whether it's working in Starbucks or the head of the multinational finance team. The opportunities are larger if you can speak English effectively okay you can gain respect as well secondly your english skills allow you to gain much more respect and esteem because that shows that people are willing to go the extra mile to learn another language because you know it will equip your future decision making english opens up your choices what options you have and allows you to communicate with a huge number of people not just in your country but across the whole world and it's often seen as a status level if you can speak english rather than just relying on your own local language to get you through life another point you can gain knowledge of language and history too it is important to speak english effectively right because it gives you knowledge of a new culture and historical things particularly if you're learning british english my favorite there is so much history if you learn british english because you learn the language and the history of the language from its original core Speaking English effectively also opens the world up to you. Also having English as a skill allows you to travel more easily than before because you're traveling to different airports. People actually offer English as a way to communicate rather than maybe your local district village accent language yeah and as well the world of entertainment opens up entertainment is often dominated by the english language this is typical as many of the hollywood movies are in english many superstars sing in english and the list goes on and on and on 
speak in English widens your circle of friends. I think that knowing English helps you to make a lot more friends and they can be people from a different country. English brings the world right on your doorsteps. You can build so many more friends on Instagram, Twitter and YouTube as an example. English can equip you in areas you never thought about before. English equips you for things that could happen in life. As example, if you needed help in a local store or a website and even creating a podcast in English, if you understand and speak English effectively, you're already halfway there. Speaking English well also helps you to learn a new culture kind of touched on this earlier learning another language helps you to learn more about the new culture so the reasons could be personal why you need to improve your english so whatever your reasons are whether to widen your circle of friends or be able to negotiate better do better interviews travel the world remember that and let that be the driver to help you speak english more effectively and it's key it's great you can speak english but let's go that bit deeper level now i ain't here to teach you english i'm here to help you to speak english effectively which is a whole different ball game from what you've been doing if you've just learned English yeah I'm here to help you just smooth it all out get your pronunciation sharpened up and just sound it more natural smooth and fluent let me ask you a couple of questions before we move on have you ever felt foolish because you're not strong clear or fast enough in English when you're speaking do you feel that native speakers whether they're North American or British English speakers will not be interested in talking to you because of the way you pronounce things does your speaking ever become slow and broken when you speak English so that you can't communicate normally and naturally or do you still sometimes feel like you don't understand native speakers whether it's North American British or Australians etc when they speak quickly and normal pace also do you know a lot of grammar and vocab yet it's still difficult for you to use it when you're speaking to sound natural to be clearly understood if you answered yes to any of those questions I just said then you're in the right place and I cannot wait to go through the tips I have for you let's rock on to the next ch-